May we find I can agree with that, Spamarino. Because one of my favorite teams in the vanilla game was um is Helion up front with Barbaric Yop and Plague Doctor in the back line with um Blinding Gas, whatever it's called. Nice. And so, like, in one turn, you can stun the entire enemy team. And if you have good damage with your other people, then you can, like, just completely dance around enemies. You can play a tactic with skills and heroes that makes use of diminishing returns. Okay, see, that is something that they tried in terms of the, like, if you stun an enemy, they then get a buff in terms of, like, match is struck. Um, a their stun resistance on the more. next turn. They try to make it so that you can't just perma-stun people forever and ever. Am I Canadian? No. Not from a lack of trying. Start to get some bleeds on the big guy. Are you being this? Alright, let's see here. His point blank. Minus 15% damage to and from the skill point blank shot. How long does that work? Because I, I, since I saw that on there, I haven't been using it. Because I used to just do the revolving, you know, the dancing. Duelist advance plus point blank shot. And so that basically cancels each other out. Three rounds? Okay. I mean, if you use the other skill, you can just dance around it. In a way. Please don't punish my Spitfire. He's gonna bleed out, so we can... One! God, you burger, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, burger! Alright, right, now that I got that out of my system... Um. Let's get some heals going here. We're trying, Kirgo. We're trying so hard to punish you instead. Weapon that cuts on Believe me, we're trying. Alright, 50%. We have a 100% chance, so let's flip a coin. Did we get a stun? Well, even an enemy with a prot, though, if you're using the age-old Highwayman machine gun combo that you could use in vanilla like even enemies with high prot you used to still be able to point blank shot machine gun them down because of like high speed and high chances to crit it wasn't the best tactic necessarily but it still worked in certain um, instances at the very least it was usually good for taking down at least one or two enemies and then everything else would start to just fall into place all right, we're going to see if we can let our other people take a turn here to try and do a little bit of healing on the fly. Because he's going to bleed out, so... I agree with that, Silvio. Because then it allows people who, like, like something to be able to continue to do that if they're using it, like, once or twice. But it stops the people who are sort of, like, cheesing certain strategies. Oh, wait, do we have a bandage? No, we don't. We could just use this knife. We can use a small dagger, right? To get rid of bleeding. Just cut the blood out, and then you don't bleed anymore. Makes sense to me. Cut out all the blood, and then you stop the bleeding. You know what? We should be able to use torches to stop bleeding. Just cauterize the wound. <laughs> No, we shouldn't, by the way. Hey, guys, I cauterized all my wounds. Also, I'm now on fire. Hey! Ooh, that's a devastating surprise back there. I'm gonna rely 
rely on holy toilet paper here. Show me the TP. TP Pro Strats. I really need to go and get some more coffee or something! Coffee or tea! Coffee or tea! You had to get a cut cauterized once? I had my nose cauterized. It was an experience. Oh, wait, you know what? I'm gonna use that anyway. Fire is the answer for everything. One HP. You better bleed. I know you have no chance of bleeding, but you better bleed anyway. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Damn! This vessel is crit pretty much like every single time. We've used the AoE. The entire encounter is being overhauled? Oh, good lord. What are you going to do to the Shambler? Damn, Kirigo. Nice hit. That's a... Uh... Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates do, 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 a dizzy do, 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 do. fall. Where is it? Here go the Crusader has the highest crit with twelve. Is on. Technically twelve twice, but we're not going to split that up. A beautiful fountain, it looks unaffected by the surrounding chaos. Alright, that sounds like something we should be able to just touch without a problem. Nice. Nice! Well, I know I'm definitely not in the majority here when I say a lack of information kind of excites me masochism no. um, in the way that like I enjoy learning about it if I feel that a lack of information is what screwed me but it's presented in a way that like I can come back from it like in this game you can come back from a lack of information by getting new heroes because your heroes die but the game doesn't end when you run out of heroes you just keep getting more just keep throwing them into the meat grinder so that's why I'm not too like bummed out by that, a lack of information. Because I can just learn from my mistakes and carry on. But I know a lot of other people, they don't deal with losing that way. I mean, just... And this has nothing to do with your mod. If you look at a lot of the reviews for Darkest Dungeon, a lot of the negative reviews are people saying, Oh my god, this game is too hard. How come I didn't know this did this and this did that? And Jesus, we went out in the dark and the Shambler came out and killed me immediately and this game is stupid. Like... I hate you, RNG. So. Stop adventuring. We still have loot spots and a camp. Are you kidding me, Al? Unless, of course, we happen to suddenly run into a shambler, which isn't gonna happen. Kirgo, you have just, like, saved so many of my runs with that. That is so friggin' useful. We require only the strength to follow it. I think the problem with the Shambler is that he's too hard for... Uh, without a team design for him, and you can't avoid him other than just not going in the dark. Kind of? I mean, okay, most of the time I'm going to agree with you on that one, Spamarino, because I've had plenty of runs get ruined by the Shambler, but every once in a while, and it is a great once in a while, I have actually managed to beat a Shambler with a team where I'm like, oh, like, I didn't know... I wasn't sure. I've never tried to dagger on that before. I wanted to science it. Okay, so shoveler... Or actually, you know what? I'm still going to use a shovel on it because it's just going to bring up an invigorated dead that we can kill for loot. But um, I have rarely managed to beat the Shambler with a team that wasn't designed to fight him, and it felt so good. Like, that's the trade-off. It's like I ran into him. It was an oh shit moment. We actually managed to beat him, and then it was like, wow! Like... I want to marry every single person I have on this team. They're all amazing. I love these characters so much more now. Even though they all look exactly like every other character, you know. In terms of, like, they're just an archetype of just da-da-da-da-da. But, no, they, I love those characters then. You know what I'm saying? I get super attached, and then they die, and then I go, Arr. So You wouldn't believe I get attached based on my play style, but I do. I just get over it quick. A death 
And that was actually something, Sylvia, I'm really glad you came into my stream to tell me about, because I had not realized potions could be used on Curios, because in the tutorial documents, it actually says on, like, page 4 or 5, look in the glossary if that suits your playstyle, or don't. Like, it actually says in there, like, you don't have to look the in the glossary, which quakes. is how I chose to go about it. Ha 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 ha! And, in a way, though, I kind of screwed myself. Because I was just like, oh, well, I don't want to get rid of these potions because they're worth some money, and I don't want to do that. But I, I have never played this game with a wiki, though. I almost felt like cheating when I looked at your um, glossary until I realized that it doesn't tell you what curios it works with. It just tells you which potions can be used on curios, and then you still have to figure it out for yourself. But... Anyway. Is Shambler just a random difficult enemy that shows up every once in a while? The Shambler is a mini-boss in the game who has a chance of showing up when you have no torchlight left. So if you wander around in the dark, enemies fights in hallways could randomly be the Shambler. There's also a Curio that I'll leave you for yourself to figure out if you want that can make the Shambler show up. Um, I got trolled, I guess, if you would call it that in this game. Except I laughed my ass off as my team was horribly torn to shreds when somebody came into the chat and they were just like, oh my god, do this thing, it's such a cool thing. And I did it, and then my team got massacred. And I think most people would have reacted to that with, oh my god, what the hell, we gotta run away! And I just kept fighting and laughing my ass off as everybody died. I thought it was hilarious. So, oh, you've the seen the Curio? Oh, yeah. I tend to react with adversity. I usually react by laughing. I think it's funny watching everyone die, because I'm just a horrible masochist, clearly. But a victory, nonetheless. Oops. <laughs> hey, you know what? We fought for this. Let's just leave the Curio here. We don't need that. Curios is for squares anyway. Ow. Ow. My heart will burst. Well... I, if I had to guess, Silvio, I would say what Spamarino is talking about in terms of, like, randomness is, like, this one is a shape-shifting scratcher. Or you can end up with random suffixes of enemies. So, like, in the vanilla game, if you go into the Warrens, you absolutely know what every enemy is capable of. You know what every single fungal scratcher is capable of. You know what to expect. You know how to deal with them. But when you play in Pitch Black Dungeon... You don't know, because what if it's an invigorating one, or what if it's a horrific one, or what if it's, you know, like there's so many different things that they could be that it's hard to, the basic moves are still there, but how to prepare for certain dungeons isn't always immediately into it. Oh my god, is Kirgo going to die? In a single ah! Back from the edge, comrade! You do this to me. Don't you do this to me, Cargo! This skirmish may be lost. This expedition is doomed. Yet be won. Okay, we have to actually get you off of Death's door, though, so that her ability will work. Okay. All right, we can leave that last room. I think we're fine. Circle in the dark. Without Kirgo dying. The battle may yet be won. Let safety be upon us. Let us be veiled in holy light. Why can't you make a mockery of yourself? Forget not that our errand is holy and just. Light will prevail. Man, I wish Mockery... Well, then again, I guess when you look at the trade-off, you're increasing someone by 20 to reduce two other people. That's true. In one regard, like, you 